What is up, guys? Thought I'd give you a quick catch up on what I've been doing in the lab here and the things I've been making. It's been uh, it's been a busy few weeks, but it's been a lot of fun. First up, I finally got my new 3D printed wing complete. I bagged it all up and I've, I've finished everything that I want to do for now until the parts come in. And then we can start assembling it and get get moving. But overall, this is kind of what it's going to look like. A couple weeks ago, I 3D printed myself an iPhone case for my 6S Plus. And it, it's awesome. I absolutely love it. It fits perfect. It came out beautiful, except, well, I kind of don't like the white. It's, um, eh. So, last night, this just finished uh, this morning. I haven't even taken it off. This is the i3 Mega. I love this 3D printer. Particularly, I love this Ultra Base. Guys, the i3 Mega. You'll see a review coming up soon on the channel. This thing, it just works bloody awesome. And it works great with flexible filament. I made myself a little spool holder. And as you can see here, there's a tiny little bit of fuzzies on here to clean up. But overall, it's a pretty clean print. Pretty happy with it. The Ultra Base leaves a tiny bit of texture on the bottom surface of anything. You can see it a little bit there in the glare, but it's just that easy to rip things off. Like once it cools, things just come off and it's just that easy. And then I hit go and print another one and no muss, no fuss. I don't touch anything on this printer. I haven't touched anything since I got it. It just works. I haven't even re-leveled the bed since day one. Unbelievable. Red October quad is now completely rebuilt and all set and ready to go and tested. I've flown it, it flies again and it flies beautifully. this quad this is the one uh, I think I did some live stream when I changed the flight control board out it works ah, I just I missed it so much at the same time I got this x215 pro up and rocking uh, 3d printed this uh, run cam holder for my run cam cameras I had it previously in white now I've got it in this nice iridescent red and I'm going to make a sister to this quad. You're going to see it. You're going to build it up with me on the channel. And I'm going to do blue this time. And the roll of filament just came in as well. Uh, I printed these cool things. Check this out. I've been making these caps for the XT60 connectors. So now I can tell what batteries are charged and which ones aren't. And I just made these out of PLA, actually. I might redo some of them in flexible.
but it makes it so much easier in my battery container to tell which uh, which batteries are ready to rock. It's awesome. And as you can see, I printed them out several at a time on the i3 Mega. It just works bloody fantastic. I got the uh, Phantom ready to go a couple of nights ago. I broke this out and gave it a, a new firmware update. Springtime here. It's time to update the firmware on my quad, on my DJI as well. It's been a while. Firmware hasn't been updated in a year. So I think it's time. So we'll just leave that. We've got connection to the quad. Not a lot of battery, but should be enough. And well, maybe we can actually fly this thing tomorrow. Might be fun. It's been a while since I've been out. I think uh, I think it's time. So that should be ready to rock with any luck. I think we're ready to go and uh, get out and fly and build some more stuff. Lots more electronics projects too in the other room. Uh, it's too big of a mess to even show you right now. Hit me up in the Discord chat down below. Click a thumbs up on this video if you like this format. Hopefully uh, uh, we can get making some new stuff. I'd love to show you what's in the other room, all the electronics, but man, it's just a mess right now and there's way too much going on. So I will break those off into a separate video a few days from now. Cheers guys.